that's like not wearing a rubber. That's worse than not wearing a rubber because your sure? dick will explode. <laughs> I yeah. mean, your one dick, time I didn't wear Your dick will be shot off. Yeah, I guess we're all just shitting, pissing, and holding on to things that we think are cool. I could polish off a couple hot. Wish I wouldn't have said that like I that. I wish you wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Polishing but, uh, up a couple of. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 31. In case you're curious about what you've been hearing outside your house at 3.30 in the morning every night, that is me doing ASAP Ferg ad libs just to piss you off. Well, on that note, it's nice to be back. It's almost as if we didn't record episode 33 days ago. I know. It's like almost like there's been so much. So it's been a week since you guys have heard our beautiful voices, but it's only been three days since we've seen each See, other's now the hate-filled content- eyes. Oh, my God. Like I can't even begin to describe to you the malice that's coming at me from behind that pop stand right now. It is ridiculous. <laughs> Pop stand? Yeah. Already? Whatever. Yeah. Already? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a hot episode. Uh, anyway. Pop, pop mic, mic stand. Pop filter, mic <laughs> stand. Holy <I> shit. <laughs> Terminology. I'm just here for the talky bits. You're the technical guy. Yeah, there's got to be one of us. Could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine me? if someone you tried imagine to... imagine me doing you, the technical... That's why you, you can't die, motherfucker. Tried to, well, I keep trying. Well, apparently. Could you imagine if someone tried to fact check and it was just like two of you? <laughs> so it's just like all this bullshit. That sounds like like, I don't even know because it's coming up right, but it's still definitely wrong. It's very wrong, but it sounds so it's right. It's definitely in the ballpark. This is why we're going to have you read out the shit this oh, week. Oh, yeah. So I, I got my eyes on it already. Monster. So, folks, in that vein, why don't you fucking already go to www.thedapperdads.com. It's got everything. Uh, Dapperdadspodcast at gmail.com for emails. 4027-DAPPER. That's 402-732-7737. Submit anything and everything. We're going to talk about the shitload of memes we got. (laughs) I don't want to talk about the shitload of memes that we got. It's going to happen. Are you going to be splicing them in the video? Um, not all of them, because that seems like way too much Because I have a request that you don't do some specific ones. Okay. That have a Because, okay, if you put out that picture, I'm going to put out that okay. picture. Okay, <laughs> all right. We all have pictures that no one <laughs> wants to see. Uh, also, <laughs> five-star reviews. We got a new one, which we'll be reading. Oh, we got. We about. have so many things that people we have got a lot us. of People you know, like it, us. It's people like we said, finally this, like us. This is what happens. You know, we, we go, Put we, it out we get a earth. drought for about a week or two where there's like a submission yeah. to, and then they all just come flooding in at once. Everybody yeah. wants a piece of the pie when it's time uh-huh. for it. Uh, give us, yeah, give us five-star reviews. Uh, just fucking do it. Steal people's phones. Doing and that put them sweet in merch giveaway. Yep. So we need 100, and we're at 21. So, uh. <laughs> Get 21, 21, 21. Yeah, 21, 21, 21. We at least need um, to get to the point where the five star reviews have surpassed the episode count. I want to get to 100 yeah. before episode 100. Well, yeah, it like out the gate, we were like way ahead and then it fell off and yeah. now it's back on. But where people, it seems like after about 30 episodes, people finally are like, okay, I'll check it out. They don't stop posting about it. Right. Because uh, I've seen a lot of people listening to the early episodes, which mm-hmm. at this point is like, a past is lifetime. That even, yeah, is that even like, us anymore? Mm, yeah. I listened to the first episode, and it's weird sounding. Is it? Yeah. We've somehow gotten better quality. I don't. Do you hear I this? know. Like, just the the, 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 <sighs> the crispness of yeah. my voice in this microphone. And we're, like, way better at this, because we've just truly given up on everything. Yeah. And the, we've the give, truest freedom is when you just stop giving a fuck we've and given you a talk fuck about... A, we've stopped giving a fuck about almost everything. Almost everything. Literally almost everything. And the fact I have to sit here and talk to you every week, you know, it's almost like my brain is like, well, might as well make it work, you know? Yeah. I, I used to be storm. reserved, and then I realized recently... I've just given up, and I'll tell you guys almost anything. I I will say that you have also helped me get rid of some of my reservations as well. Yeah. And I Which considered is surprising. My, yeah, I, I considered we myself a very thinking, unhinged yeah, person. We came in the game thinking that, and now we are completely exposed. What's got me fucked is like we feel like this out there and crazy at this point. And what are we going to do in like thirty more episodes? Ah. Uh, Hopefully not be around. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be I a limited. Won't. I've got gangrene in my uh, knee. This is going to be a limited run of oh. the podcast. <laughs> yeah, this episodes. is season one. Limited Spoiler series. alert: no season two. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads. It's Twitter's popping. It's right erotic. Now. It's not super popping because we've been sick and doing too much. But yeah. we're gonna get back on the horse. Uh, but there we we tell all of our secrets there. So go follow that. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow at Dabber Dad's Podcast on Instagram for pictures of our dicks. Exclusive content. Exclusive dicks. Exclusive <laughs> Not even wieners. our dicks. Stunt cocks. Also, dork dorks. Big dork dorks. 
we'll show you all the homemade we'll artifacts show you the dork dork collection <laughs> We're gonna sh- today. We're gonna show you guys how to make something to fuck in your house. <laughs> Just cut a hole in you your have mattress. To word it that way. Something to fuck in your house. Find something you can fuck anywhere. But I, I mean, technically, I suggest doing technically it. You doing can, it in your house to not freak out your square neighbors. Yeah, your weird dork neighbors <laughs> yeah. are gonna freak out about you. Just because my shed doors are open and you want to look in, Listen, doesn't I'm mean what I am doing American. is wrong. I'm a goddamn American. And if we're gonna follow the property rights in this country, what I do on my property is my business. And if it's not illegal, you shouldn't be looking. Hell yeah, I pay my taxes except for the state taxes because I don't know how. Nope, because Illinois. And they own me money so i think we're all squared away exactly unless you know blagojevich gets out of prison and wants to catch a fade blagojevich can suck this blagoja dick Woo! episode 31 best one ever we're taking on the government here in illinois we walk through that madison state capitol building and got a taste of the hell yeah got a taste of the what a good government will do couldn't look at the ceiling thought i was gonna die i did thought i was gonna die it's bad you you would have absolutely i know i glanced and i regretted it immediately my 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 vertigo was regrettable have you had vertigo yes and it's, it's awful fucking, it's a nightmare oh, it's like the bad part of being drunk but you're not even drunk no and like your brain is screaming that you want a drink to make it go away but a drink will make it so much that worse. was the last time i puked sober was when i had vertigo mm-hmm. which was only like two years ago which i thought only happened to old people nah yeah and then you hear people who are like i live with vertigo and i'm like i'm sorry yeah i don't know how bad things are and that's another thing i wanted to get into my my knee is I think it's gonna come back. You, th- you I think had we're that. gonna do it? Yeah, because it's feeling. It's been feeling decent. I can like cross my legs again Good. and like do things. And I've learned a couple things from this. One, I thought I had that crazy thought where you're like, "What if I like seriously fucked it up and I have to like get surgery and then I'm out for like four months? Like mm-hmm. I can't do shit. Like that would ruin my life because being out for three days on the couch." ruined my life yeah realized i think i need to occasionally take breaks and i feel like everyone here's some here's some real real dad advice like, real some talk real dad shit like i know we always go on about our does but this is real life advice real dad shit like this is some shit your dad would actually tell you just take a break every once in a while every was, once in a while i go too hard and i just don't know how to stop because even when i'm trying to lay on the couch and chill i'm like i don't want to fucking be here i want to go do something mm-hmm. i had to stop myself from going to an event in chicago tonight because because we have a dedication to each other. No, you were going to go too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I just can't do it. I just yeah. shouldn't do it. No. And yeah, Like, just, I'm, oh, oh. Yeah, I know. We could. I don't, not know. Mm. I see. And you fuckers. Everyone's, everyone's it's the fire okay, to my boiling cause, pot of water. Because here's the thing. I We just have so much fun together that it's I like know, the prospect that's what I mean. of it's being together. To, and I just like doing shit. But yeah. you have to. And that's what happened at the end of last year. I was I went to so much shit and mm. I got sick. And I don't do it until I get sick. So I'm like, maybe get ahead of it and just pump the brakes. We're doing too much. Say, why don't we go ahead and coast Going until crazy. Danny Brown? Yeah, well, that's in like a fucking week and a half. Yeah, just coast until <laughs> Danny Brown. We just won't do anything crazy tomorrow. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it. I'm not yeah. even drinking or anything right now. I'm yeah. taking a, a sabbatical. Spe- but that's... Spe- that's spe- Speaking of events... Well, we- I wasn't done with my dad advice. Okay, go with your dad advice. So kids, just take a break every once in a while. Yeah. Even just a weekend. Take a weekend off. I don't do it enough. And I'm going to fucking die if I don't stop. Yeah. So I'm going to learn to chill a little bit every once in a while. Uh, two, I'm very thankful that I like have legs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I never think about shit. And I'm like, this body's stupid. And then when I get hurt, I'm like, my body's actually puts up with way more than it should. And then when I'm fucked up is when I'm like, you know, when I'm fucked up, I'm the real me. Yeah. Um, three. Wrapping your knee up or your anything, I used to think was bullshit. Now I'm 100% behind it. No, it works. I need the science. There's no science. You can't read online. They're just like, it works. And I'm like, why? I need to know. Compression? Yeah. It doesn't explain how. That yeah. doesn't make sense. Oh, so it's tightly wrapped around it and it yeah. fixes it? Yeah. But I hated it. I have so many. And you got to find the right one. I have four different like fucking Wrap. sleeves, wraps, whatever you want to consider them. They all suck except the one I'm currently wearing. And I've just been wearing it basically for like four days straight, except for when I sleep, they say not to. And I think it does actually help a lot. I still need to know the science behind it. But yeah, wrap your shit up if you fuck it up real bad. Because I was a non-believer, but you know, through the power of Christ, 
I've learned. Ugh. What if I became super religious? Because you like, wrapped your knee up? No, I don't just because I fucked my knee up. Oh, I don't know what I would and do. And I've been on the couch and I get bored and I just started reading the Bible and I was like, you know what? Talk a lot of shit about it. Some solid points in here. You're like, yeah, you know what? This is a weapon. You just bust out some old Bible. And <laughs> yeah. I was just like, uh. <laughs> You know, I keep that motherfucking thing on me, and I pull out, out a huge Bible. New Testament. <laughs> I'm just like, Thick eyeball. bitch. I'm like, oh, that's an old one right <laughs> this there. This is half thing. <laughs> Got Millie Rock, but it's just two Bibles. Millie Rock, but you're just flipping pages in the Bible. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> King James. That's Dude, my run aesthetic. We're back, people. Oh, God. I think having two very strict topic episodes, I feel like we always come back. So sorry if you didn't enjoy those. No, but I mean, like, we had to regale you with the stories of our bullshit. Yeah, I think the Madison one was, was quite the Madison one was top tier. But I feel yeah. like every time once we have, like, a more strict format, when we get real loosey-goosey again. We get to have a bit more fun with it. <sighs> it's fire. <sighs> Anyway, what were you, what were you gonna say out of your well, big I was stupid gonna, mouth? Well, I was gonna say something we haven't been talking about or pushing enough is the Dapper Dad's drunk decisions. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring that up because we yeah. didn't bring it up at all. So yeah, March thirty first, Saturday, eight p.m. CJ's Public House. No affiliation. No. Aff- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, say it again. No Wait, say it again. Wait, say it. <laughs> CJ's Public House. Dapper Dad's a no affiliation with CJ's Public House. <laughs> wow, we haven't had a had a fast slim in a while um yeah come out if you're in the rockford area we're just gonna be drinking and getting loose so did you hear those last two episodes do you want to be a part of like that? that it could except be you i don't break my knee i break your knee except <laughs> because the only way i get my knee back is, is when to take someone else's knees. knees like yeah, this whole thing, i get my energy this whole thing is a ruse and like yeah. you don't you the, only reason, the ruse. only reason you don't take my knees is because you need me to yeah. lure good healthy knees yeah. in you're like yeah you're tall yeah. with those big strong knees why don't you bring yeah. some of your big tall strong need friends around to everyone who shows up like ah solid knees on this one solid knees on you there solid knees you're gonna be walking your car by yourself <laughs> later unrelated unrelated <laughs> hey drinks on us have a good time yeah. but yeah the first two people to come up to us and say one of the uh, huge, super popular catchphrases you from this show. You can scream aesthetic. We need to. Uh, we gotta figure out how that's gonna. Because I the don't exact want one is because I don't want a bunch of people coming up screaming aesthetic in my face. No, I just don't want people like walking in the door and screaming aesthetic from like twenty feet away. No, I do. They get a drink. No, no that that's sounds like quickly fun. not gonna work out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Be one of the first two people Listen, that don't man, be like a ridiculous. Here's the thing, Matt. We opened this possibility up to the universe, so we just have to be responsible for any action that comes from it. In I my don't want to. I don't want to take that responsibility. See, that's the you problem know, here. You, to take you, no responsibility. You want to take the risk, this. but you don't want the responsibility. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all I want in this world. Yeah. <laughs> All the rest, none of the responsibility? Yeah, that's literally my dream oh, for everything. Man, I mean, that really would be nice. Can right? you imagine having no responsibilities oh, at all whatsoever? I dream about it all the time. Imagine those this dreams sh- get wet. Th- this shit gets the so The first three rows are going to get, get wet. Wet, wet, wet. <laughs> <laughs> Will I <I'm> scream? <laughs> yeah. Dolphins splashing. <laughs> 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 That is what my wet dreams sound like. Well, I'm just me. On a sound effect board. That's me while I'm sleeping. It's just you sleeping. That's how I say I always wake up screaming. (laughs) Because you just hear monster truck promos from the 90s. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The the, grave digger. The grave digger coming for you, you, you in your sleep. Ah, (laughs) Ah, Um, But yeah, come out to that shit. The first two people to come up to us and not be like completely ridiculous. And don't like scream in my face. Or just be weird, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll hang out with you. Bring some money for the jukebox. We'll oh, get to yeah. dancing. Well, I might not be dancing. Oh, I'll be da- Slim will dance with you. Slim will dance. Someone pick me up. Like, I will. Not, like, I will pick you up. And fuck and... me, but like physically lift me in the say, air. I was gonna say this is how my dream is always gone. We're recording the show. You say someone pick me up, <laughs> and you just and I just sweep up. you up uh-huh. like like Homer running up the stairs with you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you sweep me up my feet, but you smash my knee directly into the wall because I'm a little. <laughs> I'm a little too wide vertically, horizontally. I don't know. Too wide for uh, if I'm carrying. I don't want to keep going with this. Yeah, my head and my legs. Yeah, <laughs> and you definitely aren't going to think about it because huh. all the blood will be rushing to that fat hog you got in your pants. <laughs> that meaty tenderloin. That's why I got to use two this Pringles cans for right. my door torque. Oh, I thought that was for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. I made it big enough for just mine, but I also dual ended it so we could use it together. Sweet. Yeah, mine's not that big. Nah, yours is 
Yours in context, in context. <laughs> Here's one of those snack size Pringles cans. Ah, yeah. That's still a thick can. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, this thing's gone off the fucking rails. Yeah, that's all these episodes ever do when we don't have anything strict to talk about. I was going to talk about, because uh, in the pre, we were talking about jobs, and mm-hmm. I feel like I don't know your job history. What was your first job? My very first job was a cook at a summer camp. I was a chef at Lake Louise in Byron. Oh, shout out. Very <laughs> Shout topical. out. Very topical, obscure God, there's reference. so much seaweed at Lake Louise. So something that would happen, and this was a periodical thing, because you had the morning shifts, the middle shifts, and the evening shifts, obviously. Holidays. And honestly, man, it was great pay. They paid you very healthily out there. You got to keep all your tips and everything. What are we like talking that. Uh, like there was one time I brought home an over eight hundred dollar check just Jesus from like Christ. flipping. How food. old were you? I was like se- 16, 17 years old. Like I was, I was young. It was my very first job because before that I would do like odd jobs with my dad and like his buddies. You know, like oh, yeah. help him out with some stuff, get like forty bucks and some yeah. McDonald's. You know, one of those things. Ah, those are the good old days. Good old days when you were a teenager and yeah. didn't know any better, and or there's like, just a bunch, gr- bunch of gruff guys. Move to- all this firewood. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Why not? Builds prop. Pop your shirt off. All right. When in Rome, <laughs> let us rub you up with some of this wood carrying oil. I mean, I don't want to be unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly you guys are the experts because you all have your shirts off already. <laughs> you shut up with your shirts off. Um, one of the things that would happen periodically when I worked the morning shift <laughs> is, um, man, you you got me telling so many stories from this thing that you're gonna have me remember. The seaweed, oh, the lake. Yeah, the seaweed is an epidemic. The lake level would rise and fall, and when it would recede it, the seaweed would st- stick to the side of like the restaurant boat house area because what it is you drive straight oh down. i remember listening to prodigy <laughs> not the rapper the uh the group the group yeah the, Euro the jukebox group. out there yeah in that little snack shack standing there. i remember my very first girlfriend her grandpa had a trailer out there mm. and he would come stay there for the summer and her little brother would constantly play <laughs> Nickelback, Kid Rock, and Toby Keith on the jukebox wow. over and over and over again while I was working just to annoy the piss out of me. It was terrible. And then just one time... You, I just picture you back there flipping burgers. My name is Kid. I can't. I'm no, it was well, no, Normally it was I can flawlessly execute his scream. Yeah. No, all right. It's, I'm not going to do it really, right It was. It's, it's like watching right a phoenix now. take flight when you do it, really. So I'm really sad it's that like people at home don't get Beyonce to hear it. It's like a and Jesus. It's, it's more Jesus than anything, really. It's so I divinely so. holy that I get... I get struck like Belushi and the Blues Brothers by the power of the Lord. Yeah. No, it's, you know, I've been thumbing up on my Bibles. Yeah, for real. It's just me tapping my thumbs on two Bibles. Woo! <laughs> sad, Woo! sad. Melee Woo! rock. Woo! See, there's Woo! not enough woos in Woo! the Bible. That's oh. why I could never really get behind Yeah, it. I can't get behind a major religion that doesn't include at least 18 woos in their Psalms. What yeah. kind of church you... What are you going to do in like a thousand years <laughs> I, like, I when like, you go into a like church it, and... When I open up the church. <laughs> when we open up the church of dapperness yeah. and we're just standing there in our clergy robes and and the Lord saith side to side, Millie Rock, and the audience goes, woo, 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 woo. Because it's like the and Catholic like, prayers yeah. where like they say something and you say something yeah. and they say so like it's just Migos somebody reading Migos and they're fr- the audience is just like mama yeah and people are like I thought Catholic <laughs> sessions were long but this shit's ridiculous this shit is gonna be we'll seven be like hours church. long we'll be like that church that fucks their guns or whatever there's a church that fucks guns I don't know those people really love their guns lots in that one of church. people re- I just assume really if you love, love your gun. that gun that much you you gotta fuck it right like I you assume fuck if, it or it fucks if you it probably love fucks no 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 now if you love anything that much you're fucking it that's the yeah. only way there is around it because when you love something the way those people love something yeah you want to give your entire body to it so yeah. if they're not it's sticking very, guns it, it's in the most things, intimate you can be they're blowing yeah. things onto the guns at least and then cleaning them up there's some type of sexuality uh, going on so? with there has to be there's i no mean they're way. definitely fucking the guns but i assume that they were fucking themselves with the guns or maybe blow a load down the barrel which seems dangerous See, okay but if you were gonna safety blow off is like absolutely not wearing a rubber. unloaded or do you like really take the risk there and blow into like a gun with the safety off in the chamber that's like loaded? not wearing a rubber that's worse than not wearing a rubber because you your sure? dick will explode. I, should, I yeah. mean, your one dick, time I didn't wear your dick will be one shot. One time off. I didn't wear your a rubber and my dick exploded. And <laughs> I want to be a safety precaution tale for all the kids your dick listening. And if you don't wear a rubber, your dick will fall into a universe that's only inhabited by dogs that eat your dick. And here's what: and kids, if you go to if you go to jack <laughs> off down the barrel of a loaded <laughs> of a loaded shit. stendo, it does sound crazy. When doesn't you put, it? When you put it that way, yeah. Okay. When you're jacking off down the barrel of a loaded stendo with the safety off and then all of a sudden your dick and balls and thumb 
blow up? Oh, no, you were thumbing it. <laughs> of course I'm just thumbing it. Just the tip because you were just, right at the end? Yeah, because I'm right at the end, so I'm edging myself, Ooh. and then it just goes, and the gun goes off. When I'm, and then the only <laughs> and thing. the gun goes off. <laughs> and the thing goes, uh, uh. <laughs> And the gun goes, hey. <laughs> and then you shoot come back on yourself so you're gay too <laughs> no what happens is you blow your you road gotta stop you, yelling about this you blow your load right when the gun <laughs> goes off so the force of the load with the force of the bullet explodes the front of your dick and it flies open like the stranger thing monster mouth oh, okay i got a little demi corrigan in my pants fuck yeah thanks okay. to my old stendo here i can see that wow that's that's, that's incredible. Yeah, it's a great image. I, yeah, Kids, I'm don't sure jack off down the barrels of your guns. Yeah, well, if they do, it's only because their parents left the guns where they can reach them, which I mean, we all know is just irresponsible I mean, really, ownership. if you... I mean, <laughs> you can't limit that. My to Second guns. Amendment says, clearly, I can come in this gun. I mean, it let's doesn't say gun, that you Let's can. go to a gun range and be like, which one would you recommend? A gun, deep gun, gun range? Of. No, no. Gun show, my friend. <laughs> let's go to a showcase and just walk around and be like... Just coming in guns. <laughs> those videos where the guys just That's and i'm not supporting the them but the videos where the men just appear and come on women that are unexpecting it's it gross i've and wrong. stumbled upon them i don't agree i cannot get behind this political party but <laughs> is it political at this point i think it gets poli- you just, have they made the most you're just jizzing on somebody it's gonna get political. The, the fbi has to classify that as a gang at this point yeah. there's no way they can yeah, if, jugg- I, I if juggalos are a gang, yeah. there's no way dudes run around jacking off on strangers aren't a gang <laughs> <laughs> no way and then i want to know what their handshake is their handshake is they just check off on yeah. each other yeah, it's like Dakin, not the 80s hair metal band. No. The activity do, where two penises go inside but, of each other. But they do listen to Dakin while they're docking. Oh, you better put some Dakin on. Put some Dakin on Dakin while you're Dakin sponsor us. Dakin. They're like, we don't have money. When was the last time you listened sponsor to Dakin? Us. Dakin, reach out. We will. I will sponsor two members of Dakin. You have to choose which two. <laughs> yeah, you guys have to kill the other ones we don't <laughs> yes. sponsor. That's the deal. 4027 Dapper Dakin, which two of you are going to do this? Yeah, which two? Which two Two members of Dokken gonna be docking for the Dapper you Dads. Too far away. There's no way that's Dokken, but it comes to mind. Hmm. Someone fact check what that song is. Someone fact check. Evan, are you too far away? Someone fact I know check. No, it's on Monster Ballads. <laughs> this, this is getting out of control. <laughs> this is what happens when we what both don't get say? a lot of sleep before an episode. We chug <sighs> honey beforehand. I didn't want to bring that up. That just <laughs> doesn't sound right. Nah, now everyone's gonna be left with an inconspicuous mystery. Hmm. Interesting. What was I just going to say? only there was, like, Coming evidence to back it okay. up. Okay. Um, you can stop whenever, you fucking side piece side. of shit. Millie Rock. Woo! 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 woo. I'm just going to woo until you what think of it. Gonna, woo. No, that's going to help me not think woo. of it. I think woo. it was about coming in woo. guns. Woo! I don't know. Woo. Okay, please stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, you know it's only eight woos before it gets ridiculous. <laughs> well, what are you going to do when a whole church is wooing at you someday? Uh... Launder money from them. Well, yeah. What else is the purpose of a church? I don't know. I, I'm not. Do you a, like to be sit the, and be lectured do about you your like bad to, decisions? Do you like to see a big building that's closed all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, there's a lot of abandoned buildings in the country. It's an epidemic. I went to church one time, and the only thing I took away from it is that the guy went to Italy, and he really liked the spaghetti. The whole theme was I do like spaghetti. Quanti- quality over quantity. Yeah. So I was like cool i don't need this and then i couldn't eat the body of jesus i was told so i had to sit while everyone snuck past me in mm-hmm. the pew and it was one of those tight squeezes where uh, you're like sorry 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 i can't eat jesus apparently no nah, i'm not I allowed uh, sorry and then i remember a- i did that i went to a catholic mass with my dad and i did that and the guy like said the thing and i said thanks bro and then i ate the way yeah you've told that story <laughs> yeah and then my mom was like you should not have done that and it's like why it's not like it's real <laughs> <laughs> It was a real cracker. I mean, it's a very real cracker that they give you that you eat, and then you turn into shit somehow, but like... Wow, that's blasphemous. Think about how much money you've spent turning into poop. (laughs) How much money I've spent turning into poop? Or turning things into poop? (laughs) Your money (laughs) has technically turned into shit, because you've traded your money for something you've turned into shit. I trade my money for other things, too, that don't turn into shit. Yeah, they turn into piss. I mean, that's more where my money goes, yeah, if exactly. we're going to be honest. But uh, I met, like, possessions. That, too. Yeah, I guess we're all just shitting, pissing, and holding on to <laughs> things that we think are cool. It's really all it comes down to. You work those 40 hours a week. Somebody asked so me what the shit meaning. and piss. Somebody asked me what the meaning of life was today, and that's what I should have told him. You're Who just the shit. fuck 
<laughs> does that? If I told you, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hey, I'm just going to go up to people like, hey, uh, what's the meaning of life? It's a loyal listener, if that helps. Of course it is, because we leave them with questions like <laughs> yeah, that. Like, what is the meaning of life? Why do you do all the weird shit that you do? Well, son, sit down. I'll tell you a tale. To just fucking escape. Yeah, that's it's all. all the only re- yeah, folks. literally the only reason I do anything I do is just escapism, really. Yeah, that's true. What are we escaping from? Death. Yeah, constantly. But I keep running towards it. Damn right. <laughs> you know what I mean. Woo! I keep flirting with the lion. That was bad. We should never high five again. Well, because there's here. this table so goddamn large. I know. I like my high fives to end in a good hug. <laughs> <laughs> I like my high fives to begin with a good hug. Ooh. I just um, like a good hug. I was gonna definitely say something that's very upsetting. I don't think There's it was just that been important. so much shit. Yeah, this episode. No, been it wild. was solid because I wouldn't. I wouldn't dwell on it. I w- I wouldn't keep harping on it if it was. You are harping on it. I love to harp, but I love to claim I won't harp. You want to get into some submissions while we're harping? We could dabble. It's only been twenty minutes, and it feels like it's been ten hours. That's insane. We've been <laughs> recording this episode for like at least a solid four hundred hours. Yeah, that, all of that. I think we just jam packed too much. That is into crazy because that was a lot. Unless I'm that wrong, that was only twenty twenty five ish. No, yeah. I mean, yeah. <sighs> if I'm doing math right, which who the fuck knows? Oh at this hell, point. I fell into one of those goddamn time holes again. Now nothing makes sense. It just hasn't been recording all that gold. Oh, I don't. I would. Do you know how pissed off I would be? I don't think you have the right to be pissed off when I'm the I'm the technical one and you're the big stupid one. <laughs> Wow, that I know felt that felt bad insanely coming out. personal. I, know. If we I mean, want to talk is, about it personal, personal things, I just don't. Te- Everything here is personal. I just don't text two people. I just don't text you tomorrow. You're like, hey man, still coming out tomorrow? I just like snap you guys six hours later from my bed. You're like, oh, you're Slim took it pretty hard. All right, yeah, we can get into submissions because uh, this feels pretty loose. The first one is from two kids in a huge coat. <laughs> the ones who tried to get in and see Black Panther? Because I like those kids. I like the cut of their gist. And the email, not to spoil anyone's personal email, is smalldick at bigdick.com. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Bro, is... whoever the fuck smalldick from bigdick.com is, get at me. Because I want to know the man who has that, that that mantle in society who's like, oh yeah, uh, hit me up in my email, smalldick at bigdick.com. <laughs> I love it. And then the actual question... I don't even need a question. That was good enough in, on its own. It's in all caps, and it says, what the fuck is your fucking favorite fucking cereal? Well, Captain <laughs> Big Dick, Small Dick, I'll have you know I my- like that qu- I fucking love cereal. I also love cereal. But I forget that I love cereal. Until and you I'll go see like the cereal a year aisle. without eating it, and then- I'll eat it and be like, what was I doing Why, for and, the and past year of my see, life? See, I do the same thing, except I have like a two-week <laughs> cereal binge where I'm buying all this cereal because yeah. I haven't eaten it forever, yeah. and then it just sits on top of my fridge yep. and I don't eat it. And mm-hmm. then like, I think that's the only thing you do with cereal, is yeah. you binge it, and then you forget about it, and then you hate it. If I had to pick a... F- Man, it's a hard favorite. to pick a favorite. I know. I want to go so through many. a ton. I think I might. Let's just have list a off quality cereal. Uh, off the top of my head, if I if somebody was like one cereal for the rest of your life, yeah. cinnamon- three quick ones. Okay, three quick ones: cinnamon toast crunch, mm-hmm. um, golden grams, okay, and uh, honey smacks. Interesting. Not a fan of Fruit Loops. I had some Fruit Loops the other day. Well, actually, they were generic. I don't remember what they were called, but they're not Fruit Loops. Did you see that thing where it said all the Fruit yeah. Loops are, are the same taste? Did that fuck with different? you? A little bit. I said that to someone, and they were like, that can't be right. fuck with me at all. And I'm like, It makes no. sense, but like, it doesn't seem right. Yeah, because I never like got a specific taste, but just the colors feel like they indicate something. Right. Every time yeah. things are different colors, I anticipate. Well, I mean, like you flavors. never say something tastes like blue raspberry. You say it tastes blue. So like yeah. blue tastes blue, like red tastes red sometimes. Yeah. And like that's what I figured they were supposed to taste like. I'm not a huge fan of Fruity Loops. Fruity if- Loops? What were we talking about? Fruit Loops, the yeah, cereal. Yeah, Fruit Loops. Why did I say Fruity Loops? I don't know, because now my weird brain memory. thing is starting to infect you. I know, you, it yeah. Seems. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking... And I was so smart before this. Oh, yeah, you were just a regular Albert fucking I Einstein got, before we started the podcast. That's gonna, what people said about you were going to say I was a regular Albert Fish. I was like, <laughs> yes, I'm filled with needles right now. <laughs> I, I, uh, No, I hate that. So, that the idea of sitting... Think about sitting there right now. With, I know. With needles inside of myself. This is a huge jump from cereal. I'm ready to just let this bitch yeah, run. We're going this. all over the yeah, place. Yeah, this episode goes everywhere this but time yeah, around. Just putting needles in yourself. Cereal. Talk about cereal. Yeah, my favorite cereal is full of needles. <laughs> Chock my, full of needles. Chock full of needles. By Kellogg's. 
<laughs> Kellogg's chocked full of needles. They look like little dicks with needles poked through yeah. them. And then, yeah, there's instantly so lawsuits. So technically, they look like, like those like, little burrs that like there's get instantly caught on your lawsuits, legs. and you're like, well, I mean, what did you expect from a cereal? When called? you poured Shocked it out and looked at it in the bowl, what made you put it in your mouth? <laughs> Like, that's uh, what if I, I had a nickel yeah. for every time I've had to ask that question, because <laughs> they always have to pour it in a bowl before. <laughs> it's very mushy and lumpy. <laughs> Let's fucking go. go. Episode 31. Episode, man, we hit that 30 milestone, and it's like yeah. we had our midlife We're crisis. We're over the hill now. Yeah, oh, my God. Is that yeah. 30? Is 30 when you're over the hill, or no, is it 40? No, 50's over the hill. No, 40. 50. Fact check. Fact check. <laughs> And make it quick. <laughs> like, honestly, it's amazing no you one's guys, texting us right It's like you right guys now. take a week. It's like, it's like no one's listening to the new episodes when they come out. Yeah. Everyone's getting caught up on episode three and So we shit. finally, gonna, we're going to finally get some fact checks and we're going to be like, who the fuck asked you? <laughs> well, honestly, every time we get a fact check for several seconds to minutes, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what this means at all. No. Sometimes people will be like, you asked in this episode about this. And I'm like, thank you. Because I don't remember what I say. No, We're a week yeah. out before you even hear it. Literally, so. if you hit me up a week after the show comes out, it's hard for me to do the promo sometimes because I have to remember what we talked about yeah. in the episode. I know. Yeah. That's right. Holy shit. <laughs> There's that monster trying to come out of your mouth. <laughs> no, I'm pouring it down the hatch. Anyway, cereal. Um, I think Three quick ones. Hit me with three quick ones. Three quick ones. Captain Crunch. Oh, yeah. Lucky Charms. Mm-hmm. Cookie Crisp. Ooh, who doesn't like some Cookie Crisp? Cookie Crisp, I think you forget about. Remember Out of all because, of them? Because it's one of those cereals that you don't try until like you're at a buddy's house and they're like, you can get whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, mom's not buying cookie. cookie Crisp. No, when the fuck? My mom never bought Cookie Crisp. Do you remember Oreos? How good that shit was? The I didn't Oreos like that. Cereal? I don't like Oreos. Oh, I you said you don't Oreos. like Lucky Charms? No, I'm. That's every, insane. This is going to sound crazy. Every yeah. time I eat Lucky Charms, I get acid reflux and I don't know what I causes could, it. I could see that. I get these sense. weird burps well, after I eat Lucky Charms and it tastes like the coating they put on the cereal. I think it's between Lucky Charms or Captain Crunch for my number one. Captain I Crunch think, is balling. Any I variety. think I would peanut go peanut butter crunch. No, I don't like really? peanut butter. Don't like I peanut butter had at peanut all. Peanut butter crunch and like oops, all years. berries when oh, that motherfucker the fucking ruined the whole factory yeah. and it's just berries. That's crazy. That's a crazy <laughs> backstory. The factory. Whoops, just... pull the lever. None of the fucking stupid. Do, do you remember yellow the crazy pieces? commercials from like the early two <laughs> thousands yeah, where it was just like a flood of <laughs> yeah. berries everywhere? Oh good. Now you and like around Halloween where they get the like one Captain Crunch that's like spooky looking. You got and me it, like, so fucked up because I'm gonna buy a in bunch of cereal on the way. Home. Me too. The, uh, the glowing ghost Captain Crunch, yeah. where it makes the milk green. Yeah. I buy that shit every I year because it's. A, I, I buy will. all the spooky cereals. I, I get the Count Chocula, the course. Booberry, the Frankenberry. Uh-huh. Why do they got two berries? That's what I want to know. I, I, Frankenberry and Booberry. Come on, write a letter. Let's uh, let's compose a letter. Come on, let's do this Halloween theme cereal. <laughs> Get but your shit together. I'm going to give my number one spot to Captain Crunch because that shit fucks your mouth up and you still eat it because it's that fire. So I give, like that's I give my number one spot to Cinnamon Toast Crunch because the flavor so quality, on it is yeah. fantastic. It's, it's a top quality. quality cereal. Good crunch consistently that's a, in the That's milk. a good one because like, do you like your cereal to still be firm or do you like to let it get soggy? Oh, no. I, I'm not a soggy cereal guy. No, I me eat neither. that shit as but quick as possible. Cinnamon no. Toast Crunch, when it gets soggy, makes, it's still good. It's still good because it has that crunchiness in the middle yeah. still. So you get like that good that's one of those cereals creaminess. that you can I, someone i know and then as it basically a kid, makes horchata when you're done with it because yeah. it's cinnamon milk yeah and it's like it's oh. ridiculous yeah that's a very underrated one remember the bowls they used to have back in the day where you had the straw built into it yeah. so you could drink your milk afterwards yep. i had like five or six of those that all got fucked up by the dishwasher back in yeah the day. not a good product overall but no but design beautiful. wise it's fantastic it's better than and then i remember they had uh <laughs> cere- remember they used to give away cereal spoons in the yeah. boxes yep that would turn it that would turn color with the milk sometimes mm-hmm. and then they had the ones that were the straws too so yeah. you could drink your milk out of it after you used yep. it to now we have a heroin epidemic Thanks it's crazy a lot. kellogg's <sighs> Shout out Kellogg. Kellogg's could have prevented the um, heroin epidemic. You heard it here first. Yeah, cereal. There's so much there. App, Apple Jacks. Oh, Apple right? Jacks is a underrated one. That's a very, honey I feel co- like there's honeycomb. What's your stance on honeycomb? I dabble with honeycomb. I, d- I dig honeycomb. Um, a, nice, a nice solo cup of honeycomb at 2 a.m. is sometimes the best drunken snack. All right. Uh, Actually, I'm just gonna say a solo cup of cereal at 2 a.m. is sometimes the best drunken snack. 
and there's milk in the solo cup? Sometimes. It okay. all depends. Sometimes it's dry. Sometimes I honestly like a cup of dry cereal. Do you remember those little boxes that you cut down the middle and open up oh, and like take to genius. school or get at school? My mom used to get like a eight pack of those mm-hmm. and they'd just be fucking gone. Now I'm like, I'm eating all of them because the it's not a full box question. of cereal. Here's the real This is going to be like <clears throat> a stand up or sit down. I know. I, I know you where you're going. At the same time? I don't know how to say it at the same, same time. Minute, but how you, how you pour the milk to cereal yes. and how, what the ratio is. Yeah. You put the cereal in first, mm-hmm. then you pour the milk. Mm-hmm. Where I do think, you where do you pour the milk? I coat it all gently. Now see, I am not a gentle coater. I what I do is I very <laughs> tactfully pour it in the corner from the side because I have like these nice square bowls at home. Mm-hmm. So I get it right in the corner I so, see I, what you're working so with. I maintain that nice top crunchy layer. See, for I a like while. sometimes cereal's too hard for me, so I like to give it a nice even coat. It gets but, a little but see, like now here's my attack plan with it. I go in and I get is so no, fucking I'm so thorough. Serious. It's beautiful. It's very I know. Because what I do okay, so I got my square bowl of cereal, poured up <laughs> cracked the seal, poured up some milk. Mm-hmm. And I'm so my goal is to get as much of that crunchy cereal gone before the stuff underneath starts sogging. Yeah. So in this very quick cereal eating motion, you manage to dip the cereal down in the milk, so you get yeah, a good ratio little push. of milk. Yeah. Little push, you get the good ratio of milk oh, yeah. to crunchy cereal. I'm with you. So you don't got to worry about it getting all soggy underneath. Yeah. You, so you're constantly rotating the cereal yep. around yep. in the milk. I I do this too. It's a yeah. good. It's it's the only way to do but it. But mine varies with cereals. Um. Before I forget, real quick, my piss a lot of times smells like honey smacks or whatever. I get that. Something. Do you know yeah, what I'm talking no, about? Is that diabetes? Or I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have seems like it's diabetes. I don't have diabetes either, but uh, are we on the cusp of diabetes? I thought it. It smells just like that, Smell- right? Yeah. Scary. So it kind of ruins it for me. But um, sometimes I notice when it's after I eat honey smacks and I'm like. See, I haven't had honey smacks in like a long time. We were talking about jingles earlier. Wasn't that one like, give me a smack and I'll smack you back? back. Yeah. Cool. Don't you um, can't get enough of this sugar, sugar crisp. Guess I forgot to put the fog lights in. <laughs> That's my one of my favorite. Aren't sugar things. crisp and honey smacks basically the same thing? It's I, just puffed rice covered in sh- honey. I believe so. And there's a lot of rice options. Yeah. Because then you got, of course, Rice Krispies and then, like, the chocolate Rice Krispies. I, I want cereal so bad right now. This is insane <laughs> but how bad I want cereal. my whole milk situation sometimes can differ depending on cereal. Mm-hmm. Um, shredded wheat. The like frosted shredded now, wheat. That is some those good you got to get that shit like you gotta a little it. soaked. You got to no, turn gotta them it, over. Yep, you got to get it completely. Sweet. Yeah, because I I love that crunch when you just crunch yeah. it on a soggy, but not like wheat. too. Yeah, when it's like fresh out the box, it's like aggressively it's crunchy, too hard, and then you just it gets get like it a weird a paste little. with the frosting. Right, you, just you gotta, gotta get like it yeah. just enough. You gotta it's like dunk them. Like, yeah, it's almost like a cookie. You gotta dunk it and pop them. in. I was a fan of doing that for a while. So and I love dunking them. I love with those when you get a spoonful and you get it frosting side down on your. Your tongue oh. it's like a tab of ass <laughs> yeah because you would know oh hell yeah yes I that's rec- what yeah yes, every, every time... single time i've done acid i've thought oh yes this feels like putting a frosted mini weed on my tongue that sounds How like delicious. Some shit someone on acid would say. it does and maybe at some point i feel like it would taste you're like, gonna remember it now. yeah next time i take acid i'm gonna be like it's like frosted mini weeds you're gonna be like what the what, fuck is that are you what you about? sound like on acid <laughs> maybe who knows like a off-brand stewie Dude, i don't know well, how did i how did i sound when we were downtown that one time i don't fucking remember because man i was an that man's eating crazy. well we bleeped that out of another episode so spoiler alert now Fuck it. Um, i don't care anymore what other cereals i feel like we've got a good basis but there's, there's some other ones out there because i mean there's I, a ton of like good cereal. uh corn okay. pops mm, I, I like it's such a, good a weird po- consistency well, be, i think a, i like how odd it is it's slightly sweet but it's yeah. like those weird it's like a weird it's like a puff it's got a dip in it yeah, it's it's an odd shaped cereal. It's a, it's now a this is a cereal concept. that you're not going to believe exists, but I swear to God this is real. You can get it at Woodman's here in town. It's called it's spelled out Q U I S P Quisp. Oh yeah, I've had that. It's Captain. It's Round yeah. Captain Crunch. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's it solves the whole cut in your mouth solution <laughs> because you don't have to sit there and like bleed out of your mouth from eating Captain Crunch. <laughs> Captain Crunch sues us after this episode. Yeah. But if you don't, the want captain that, himself shows up in court. We're like, oh shit! He's like this tall. Yeah. Just comes up he and goes, kicks us right in the balls. He comes up and goes sorry, <laughs> but the <laughs> eyebrows are still on the hat and they're like yeah. moving. He's like sorry, and we're like, oh, oh bitch, full. The rest of the dad squad's just there in the courtroom. They're like, full circle. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I just love Captain Crunch because you deal with you deal with cutting your mouth and not mm. being able to hear the TV. You know oh, what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. You're crunching so loud that you're like, 
do I just not eat and yeah. watch TV or do I turn the TV up to justify my eating? Then someone's going to come in and be like, why is the TV so loud? And you're going to be like, this Captain Crunch is crazy loud in my head. <laughs> You sound like a meth head. <laughs> yeah, man, the TV's too saying. loud and the Captain Crunch too loud in my head. <laughs> okay, now, here's some, here's an unpopular statement I'm going to oh, put out fuck. here. There's too many goddamn varieties of Cheerios. Am I wrong? No. Yeah, you're right. So many goddamn varieties out there. Like, there used I to don't be even just, like Cheerios. There used to be just regular Cheerios, which taste like cardboard. Yeah. And then Honey Nut Cheerios, which is the only way to make them edible. Yeah. Then they had, like... <laughs> this is very true. Then they had, like, the fruity... Us uh, Cheerios that That's they had. That's because they're trying to dress up some trash. And they, then they have ha- you seen their competition? Of oh, course absolutely. Gonna well, be and then they ton. have like the Apple Cinnamon Cheerios, and it's like a way to rip off Apple Jacks and not be as fun. Yeah. Way to be Apple Jacks for white people is basically what it yeah. looks like. And then they have Cheerios like ancient grain Cheerios made out of like a bunch Which, of who like, the fuck wants like, to eat an ancient grain? Bu- no, <laughs> you know I want to eat love a new grain. Food. I want a new food. I, I want, want a new food. Jack. <laughs> and it's Apple Jacks. <laughs> I want a new truck. I need a new chain with my ancient grains. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Um. Any other cereals to touch on? I know there's more out there. I'm there's tons the, of them out there. I'm just thinking of the I'm ones that the like aisle. I personally enjoy. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go buy some cereal after <laughs> this episode, and we're gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna have to send a snap of all the boxes I'm buying because I feel like there's a bunch I'm passing up on here. What about like the? Do you ride for the cereal in the bag from like all these like bags? No, because I have money now. Yeah, I'm not like a lot of money, but I have cereal money. You know what I mean? Like yeah, one, I get you get like, one to two cereal. Yeah, I don't get have one, like aisle of one, cereal. One money, box right? of paycheck, yeah. you can get one nice box of cereal. But yeah, I had that bullshit as a kid, and sometimes I just don't like looking at poor shit anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, an adult. I, like, I want like, to look like at a box all, of cereal. I like going to all these because I save money, but I don't because I'm like I'm not like this no more. Yeah, yeah. Aldi is just gotta depressing. respect where you came from though. Yeah, I mean, I'll never go back in a save a lot. No, that's where I. Oh my god, no! I will never step foot in a save a lot again. People unless don't it is even a know dire, what that fucking is. Unless it is a dire emergency, I will not step foot in a save a lot. I feel like I've talked about it before, but to get save a lot cereal, all the floors are sticky, and there's just too many kids. There, like, kids there was that are not accounted for. There's like 45 kids in every save a lot. 12 adults. You're like, there's no fucking way. There was one time I went to a save a lot, and I picked up a pack of like pork chops or something like that, and they were green. Like there was like yeah. green juice, and I handed them to the guy and I said, "Hey man, you probably want to throw these out. They're go- they're going a little bad." And he goes, "Oh, thanks, man." And then I just like happened to tr- glance yeah, around, like a, and he threw yeah. them back out, and I was like, like, "No, movie. that's not why I did that." It's like a movie. Yeah, save My, a lot. Is- our lives fucking, are like a fucking movie. Save a lot is a nightmare. I lived down the street from one as a child. It opened up, and I think people thought it was going to be like a good thing. I've never seen a store open and already be like disgusting and trash. I've never seen a save a lot in a rich neighborhood. Let's put it that no, way. No, there's no like people don't know what that is. I talk to people it and they're you, like, and they're like, what? what's a save a lot? And I'm, I'm like, like it's like a worse been. Aldi because now Aldi's kind of lit. Like yeah, like all because they've got like, like a newer the, Aldi. Oh, like the one Beautiful. over yeah. by my place. Like yeah. they've got like all the nice shit as fuck. There. Yeah, it's clean and you can get like tightly. a lot of like good food for you. But Aldi yeah. when I was a kid, it was like a fucking it was like the trash store you went to. it was like I always went to the one save a lot. off of uh, Harrison 11th over there. That one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I yeah. always frequented because that's the one that was closest <laughs> to the town I grew up in. Yeah. And so, like, I just have horrible memories. You ever go to Gray's IGA? Oh, I bet. That. <laughs> you want to no talk? No one knows. Because what is the IGA? That's I like d- a thing. What does it stand for? I don't I have know. no idea. They, my mom would pay bills there, too. Yeah. You want to fucking really hate your life as a child? Get taken to a Gray's IGA to buy bullshit oh. off-brand food while your mom pays the light bill. Hopefully she pays the light. That this whole time. experience felt painful as you were describing it to me. Like I feel like that's you a rude no thing. Idea. That is. There's three great. There were three craze IGAs. One out on Sandy Hollow, one on Broadway, and one on Alpine by the fucking Edgewood Center. And there's still the one over there. Yeah, that one's still there. My buddy. But that's like there. the nice one though. That's what they always considered like. The can't nice be anymore. Group. Yeah, it's, it was uh, falling apart. Like. There's some stores where I'm just like, how are you still here? And they are I more expensive than schnooks, if you can believe it. Like, I know, have you been in there recently? Because it means something. Because like, I've heard people say like IGA is like, it's like another a Fact check. Somebody but... fact check what IGA is. I know. I want to look it up right now because I need to know what it is. Because my whole life I was like. I mean, I could look it up. Or are you going to bitch if I look it no, up? No, I need this. Okay. Because I remember hearing it in shows. and so, As a kid, I just thought that was the store name was Gray's IGA. God, I forgot how much I fucking hated that store. There's so many stores that my mom ruined like. I'll never go to as an adult because she would just make us go to as a kid. And I was just like, fuck this stupid hellhole. 
And a lot of those were Gray's IGA. Okay. It, it came up. So I typed in Gray's IGA. It came up with Gray's Food Stores. Yeah, just IGA, though. Just look up IGA and see what <laughs> yeah, comes up. Yeah, see if that happens. Because I know it stands for something. Because I've heard other people use it as like a slang term. Like, I'm going to the IGA. It's a horrible slang term. Literally, and you should never be around people. The like first that. result, it says, welcome to IGA. And then it says, no information is available for this page. <laughs> Seems about right. Here's what it says. It just says, IGA is a U.S. brand of grocery stores that operates in more than 30 countries. Unlike the chain store business model, IGA operates as a franchise through stores that are owned separately from the brand. What? Yeah. And it's, he- its headquarters are owned in Chicago, though. Yeah, see, I feel like I've heard Chicago people talk about okay, it. Okay, here we go. IGA. Maybe Wikipedia can give us. Oh, God, we're basically turning into Joe Rogan. This is a <laughs> fucking nightmare. No, if we were Joe Rogan, we'd have another person to look up all this shit. Yeah, and, yeah, and they, they would... wouldn't get to us in a week later. Have yeah, you ever seen those chimpanzees? <laughs> they could rip an arm off a of, man. Yeah. Okay, Independent Grocers Alliance. That's what okay, it stands that's, for. Yeah, that's what I, I, I assume the G had to do with grocery. Many of these stores operate in small town markets that belong to families that manage them. It was founded in the United States as the Independent Grocers Alliance. So it's it's basically like, IG, it seems like IGA is like a union yeah. for people who want to own grocery stores. Well, don't say we never that taught so you anything, That was so boring. Folks. God, yeah, can we talk really about something took, more that really fun? That really took the that steam was, out of this uh, That was episode. awful. What's that? The episode was great until the IGA thing uh, came up. it's your fault because I had to look it up. I had to know. You you knew you were curious. Well, yeah, but Who's I didn't realize gray? it was going to make Let's me so just fun. really get into this. <laughs> who we is unravel. John Galt? <laughs> We unravel a huge conspiracy about IGA. That's what we're going to go. Do. IGA. That's what we're going to go down for. The Dapper Dads are going to. You want to break into that Grace IGA off Sandy Hollow? <laughs> Don't I'm threaten me <laughs> with a good ass time because that sounds like fun. I bet it does. <laughs> like how I'm like, I bet that sounds like a good ass time, even though I know it does. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good ass time. Probably fun as we just um, run through there with bats. This submission, I like. I'm not familiar with it, but uh, it's from Messy. And that's bigfan at gmail.com. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to stop reading the emails one day, except uh, small dick at big dick.com. Because <laughs> that is a winner. That's going on a t shirt someday. It's going to say small dick, <laughs> and on the back, it's going to say at big dick.com. <laughs> so this submission says I was browsing some comments of the Brock Hampton show, and someone commented that they played Star enough times to summon Shenron. They sure did. I don't know if you guys are Dragon Ball fans, but I figured I would pass it on to the dads and hope to get a laugh. I mean, I'm more of an Avatar The Last Airbender fan myself, oh, but I do fuck with a little bit of podcast. Dragon Ball. I do fuck with a little bit I don't of Dragon know. Ball myself, yeah, so I've, I appreciate I've that reference. I've never purposely watched Dragon Ball Z, so I don't get the reference. Basically, they played oh, Star fuck. enough times to basically... <laughs> basically, in Season 2, Episode 3, the I was guy gonna that say that they like essentially, the other guy... I was going to say they essentially just played Star enough times to rip open a fucking portal to hell, and that's what it felt like by the end of it, because literally... Oh, yeah. The, I was in that portal to hell. The I worst remember. thing at the, was I'm when... <laughs> the worst thing was when they I went and sang you. the chorus to boys, and they're like, hello, boys, sin, hello, boys, sin, hello, boys, and I was like, great, this is what hell is. It's just Star. I'm not going to bitch about how many times they play Star because I'm going to be real. If When we go to Soundset, if they play Star like 15 <laughs> times in a row, I'm not going to complain about it. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot that we're going to see them again. Yes. We're going to see them and Prof in the same day. Yeah. Well, folks, we'll be going to the Soundset Festival in Minnesota. Yes. Over, catch us there. Is that Memorial Day? Yes, it is. Okay. 5 27 18. Yeah. May, May 27. <laughs> uh, That's how dates work. Yeah, well, you just rattled it off like a monster. Because it's on the poster, genius. I don't sit and look at the poster. I do, because I was looking at the lineup. Yep, we're going to be seeing Logic and Russ, two of Slim's favorite <sighs> fuck artists. Fuck Russ. Fuck yes, Russ. Yes, please fuck Russ. Oh, God. Russ is the with guy. With a wheelchair. <laughs> Russ is that guy who's like, yeah, well, you know what? You might flirt with her at the bar tonight and take her home and come on her face and make her call you daddy and then you're gonna fuck her again tomorrow and probably on sunday but she's gonna come home and cuddle with me tonight so what does that say pal <laughs> why is he built so high He's i don't so terrible high. literally i was talking to someone at work today and i was like come to soundset it's gonna be lit i'm trying to get like everyone i know to come to soundset and they were like oh my god i'd love to see russ and i was like russ is garbage and you should not yeah. want to listen but they're like oh but he produces now don't come to Soundset. well and then they said oh but he produces everything he does and he ra- does all his own beats and everything it's like yeah that doesn't mean it's good just because he does I it doesn't know mean it's he good. was that popular i yeah, didn't he know is that so, many people he is very popular stupid. with young women because he just talks about his feelings all the time like he yeah he's not pop- he's like armenian well and it's like it's i a can huge dick he, he's an awful ass like, and he has I a small dick small dick big dick 
Sm- is, is small dick at big dick.com Russ? Is this the conspiracy? Oh, I hope not, that was a great. That was a great question, and we yeah. might have to actually p- p- paint Russ in a positive light. No, never. 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 Fuck Russ, Russ hates cereal. Yeah, Can we just start Russ. telling all these truths Ru- about Russ? Yeah, but you mean about how Russ pushed your grandma down the stairs on Thanksgiving? You mean about how Russ? You, you, you mean about how Russ mixes mustard and barbecue sauce together and calls it Russ sauce everywhere he goes? Oh, just calling anything <laughs> Russ sauce besides his jizz. That's Russ the one sauce. Best. <coughs> he wants some drama sauce. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's got a delivery like that behind it. Holy shit! Got two sauces. Sounds like drama's, get, drama's getting lost in the sauce. You want drama sauce? Only got lost in the sauce one time. Do you want to hear this story? Yes, it's I do. The story. It was. It was a long time ago. Seven. It was back in aught nine when the Kaiser Whoa. stole our word for twenty. When was it? It was a long time ago, and uh, basically, I was at a show. Mm-hmm. And I ran into a woman, group of women, and uh, one of them was attractive. So I started talking to her. I was very drunk, believe it or not. My knees were still working. This was back when I had my knees. <laughs> so this was definitely back in all nine. <laughs> yeah, this was. I don't. This was a long time ago. Anyway, um, so I started talking to her, and it was the end of the night, and there was a show the next night, and I was like, "Hey, you gonna you gonna be at that show tomorrow?" And she was like, "Yeah." <laughs> That's how she's <laughs> Your that, eyes, your eyes got so big. Cause that's you're... the sauce you got lost in. No, Pathetic. she was, she was more respectable, probably. Wah! Who fucking knows? I don't remember. Wah! She went. <laughs> she, she went, went sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is such a good episode. So good great. job. So yeah, she said some things to me, and I said some things back. And I was talking with her because I didn't think she was gonna remember me. And I'm like, "All right, that I'll see you tomorrow." And so tomorrow comes around, and she literally came down a staircase like a fucking movie. And she came up to me, and she was like, "I remember you," and she used my full government name. Oof. Because I told Rough. her, I told her it, and I was like, "Well, we'll Makes see." Makes sense. Actually, I gave her a fake name. <laughs> I did. I gave her Dave Chapels. Thank God. Of course. So she came. This up. This was early. But then she still came up and or said your I full did. government name. Yeah, that was fucking weird. That's a confusing detail. Maybe I did give her. I don't know, man. This was anyway. I remember her. She gon' give me brain. <laughs> she came up to me and she was like, "Hey, I remember you." Blah blah blah. We saw last night. Dave and Chappell's then, correct? Yes, of course. Yes. And I was like, who? <laughs> what? Who? That sounds made You're up. So my, stupid. my name is. <laughs> My name is Drama of the Dapper Dance Podcast, way in the future. <laughs> like eight years ago, give, you said yeah, this. Give me nine years to prepare. Um, and so we talked for a bit, and then we got interrupted. I think she had a cock blocking friend. Some bullshit happened. Anyway, long story short, I can't stop thinking about her. Just out of curiosity. As young men are wont to do. Just out of curiosity, I got to find her online. So I go... <laughs> This is going to sound crazy. As most things do I, with you. I go to the event page on Facebook oh, and I look at the people story. who went. Yeah. I scan through Finder. Not that hard to find her. So then I'm like creeping her Facebook profile. Don't judge me. We've all done it. We've all been there. And anyone and who I'm judges like, you clearly hasn't lived. I'm like, there are some old ass kids in these pictures. Whose kids is these? And she, uh, she has a bunch of different pictures. It's definitely her. I'm looking through. I can't figure it out. Like, these kids look like early teenagers. And I was, like, a youngin. So I'm like, what the fuck? Then I happen to glance at her Facebook URL. I mean, it has the year 73 at the end of it. So I was like, hell yeah. Wait a minute. Is this woman, like, 40? Born in (laughs) 73. Because what else would two numbers be? You know what I mean? I have an email, and the last two numbers of it are my the end of my birth year. I mean, mine are just three, two, three because it was two That's numbers. Three numbers. Yeah, see, mine's exactly. Not two. So if two it's numbers two, it's gotta be. Yeah, right and there. obviously, if it was like three, two, I wouldn't be like, was he born in 1932? Was Is she born he a vampire? In- uh, but yeah, I'd so like to perpetuate 72. that rumor, especially around Halloween. And summer. then I'm like looking at these kids, and I'm like, I think she's 40 something. I don't she remember was. math. Yeah, I'm going to guess she was. I've never talked to her again, but I was like... One could only assume. So I got lost in the sauce of a 40-year-old. I pegged her to be maybe slightly older than me. Look good for a 40-year-old. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Old-ass kids. Hey, we all Old get lost ass in the sauce. Woman. 
That's the most I think I've ever been lost in the sauce. And sometimes that teaches you just don't go looking. I, let, that, um, let a weird interaction be a weird interaction. I don't think I can really give too many details about the time I got most lost in the sauce, but I can definitely tell you her husband and I weren't on good terms afterwards. Interesting. Yeah. The so- but he let it happen. Yeah. We all let it happen. We all let things happen. The sauce you can be lost in or you can also not be lost. <laughs> Holy shit. Remember when this episode was good? Yeah, now My it just went down sucked. the shitter. She was just mad old and didn't yeah. look that old. Yeah. Hope she's still alive, but probably not because she's mad old. Hope oh, she's listening to the show. Probably doesn't because she's mad old. <laughs> yeah. Your face. How does technology work? A podcast. Every time I tell a story, it doesn't hit me until like I'm editing it that the person I'm talking about could Say. possibly be listening to it. And sometimes I tell stories and I'm like, actually, it's it's very plausible that that Super person's listening plausible. to it. And then I'm like, uh, I'm not talking about him in a bad light. I'm not talking about him in a great light. I'm not giving out any names, though. So uh, it's not like you got anything to be Could be anyone, about. but it's probably not. It's very specific. Yeah. Just like my life. Yeah. <sighs> this was a good episode, and then I just fell, fell off the rails. Right. Yeah. Want to do the rest of the submissions? Uh, You want to read a review? That was the submissions <laughs> we had to the website. That was all of them? Yeah. We have memes, if we want to get into that. I do not want to get into those memes. Okay. Um, There's no memes, folks. What did you want to get get into with the memes? That's my curiosity. I I don't know. I guess we can just say that someone took pictures of you from very very different periods of your life. Of time, yes. And made, I don't know, can we at least say how many memes? We don't have to read any of them, but someone took the time. Do you know the person I'm assuming? Yes. This is very, very You also know the person. Okay. Um, think about who would have pictures. Could just of say me. it and I'll edit it out. Yeah. Who is it? Oh, of course. Yeah. Who else? It's would that have guy pic- that you blew. Yeah, it's that guy behind that I, yeah, the dumpster. The, 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 it's the guy I blew behind the seven or the eleven. I forget which one it was. <laughs> That's the worst. Because you might have a dick in your mouth, but when you can't remember where that dick was, it's a it's a wake up call to say the least. That's how you get initiated into the Gucci gang. Hmm. But yeah, so there Is was. Is it the speed three now with even more speed? No, I literally texted you a picture of it so you could just look at that earlier. My text and you never responded. Yeah, the because... Monday one. Yeah, probably. All right, so this one is five stars. Says amazing by Sneaky Snake Six. So uh, Sneaky Snake Six, thank you very much for the review. They said just started listening this morning at work for my ten hour shift and I was dying with laughter. All my coworkers giving me the he lost it look. I enjoyed every episode I listened to. Thank you so much, Snakey yeah, so Snake. Thank you very much for that. You I hope we give uh, make everyone's coworkers look at them in a different. Way. I had someone also who ten said, hour shifts. I hope you're crushing ten by fours, so oh, then you yeah, get a four, uh, three day weekend. God, that's how the nice would that best. be? When I worked at a call center for a, a giant conglomerate phone company, I can't say their name, but it rhymes with P Hobel. Um, at one point that I company that pees on hobos <laughs> yeah they do that actually yes t-mobile P- pees on hobos <laughs> well i'm not gonna say cease it. and desist cease and desist we do not piss on the homeless i was one of your best fucking employees you losers i Lost rarely us. double muted which is where you try to mute and talk shit about the customer but your finger slips so you hit mute twice and then you go this fucking idiot on the phone and they go what and then you got to keep them on the phone for more than 10 minutes because then they don't monitor it <laughs> I wore suspenders a bunch of times. It was lit. Made a ton of money. Did you pop them a lot? Oh, we popped them. We had a squad that all wore suspenders to work. We would show up to work unlimited overtime at that job. Mm -hmm. You could work until you died at your desk, and I think that's what they wanted. Nice. Um, I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it seemed like they wished we were all dead from working. Unlimited overtime, you could come in at... What we would do is 2 in the morning until 7 in the morning when our shift started. Mm Mm-hmm. During that time, there's like a call every 45 minutes. So if you just sit on the phone for like a half an hour to be safe, put your phone in like break mode, go smoke a cigarette, come back, you'll never take a call. So five hours of overtime pay to sit there and do nothing Uh, from two to seven in the morning, sit with like three dudes and talk shit and like throw a football across the office. That's nice. I made cake. That was the only time I've made over a thousand (laughs) dollars. Man, regrettable. Yeah. Yeah. We got to cha- change that for you, man. Yeah, so you guys should buy some merch. It's www.thedapperdads.com forward slash 
shop. We have mugs and t-shirts, and literally, it will change your life like a Everyone who's received one B. thus far has just said gleaming things about the quality. They say it's just fantastic Unbelievable. Overall. Yeah, so go buy shit. Do we want to get into that other submission? <laughs> uh, what time are we sitting at? I think we're just at an hour. Unless I'm doing math wrong, this is the longest feeling episode, but yeah. the shortest amount of time. Uh, let's go ahead and get, let's do the other submission, and we'll call it a day. Because I feel like there's so much quality packed into this thing that it's like, how are we going to do anything? No, we got to keep it going. I mean, if you want to. I mean, we got to at least do an hour and a half. Otherwise, oh, yeah. the people get angry. Yeah. They send me pictures of their asshole. This is the, this it. is going to take up a half hour, I feel like. I don't want to so. harp. I don't want to harp on this. Okay. Well, <laughs> I just want to point it out. We did get <clears throat> the first a long time ago. We, we said it, and I guess it's never happened. But if you make music or you make any creative anything... Uh, you can send it to us and we will review it or discuss it or talk about it. I know we put that out early and I don't think we ever brought it up like a ton of things we've thrown out into the ether, but we did finally get a music submission. Yes, finally. Um, took so 30 episodes. Yeah, it took 30 episodes, but we finally got one. So if you make music or paint or create things or whatever yeah. the fuck you do, Hopefully. we'll talk about it. Uh, big ass disclaimer. We're just going to be like really real about it. Like we do with everything, even like some submissions, we tell you they're stupid. We do have to get a little real. It so we, we have some questions we have to ask. Yeah. Well, with this. anything, we uh, we try to keep this pretty authentic. So I'm yeah. not gonna just stroke anyone's dick. Well, why don't you anything. go ahead and give us some information about what um, you submitted to us? But yeah, we got an email. It is a duo from Chicago called Angry Black Men. Uh, they started last year and they've been dropping some singles. They're currently working on a project. Uh, consists of Quentin Branch and Brian Warren. Uh, you can find them on everything at Angry Black Men. They're on SoundCloud. Uh, I found them on Spotify as well. I'd assume they're probably on all streaming sources. I didn't look past that. Yeah. Um, they only have three songs currently, which we took a listen to. Overall, I mean, like, I was expecting way worse oh, quality. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I've, I listen to a lot of rap, and I know a lot of people who rap, and I've been around a lot of different things like that. I have been shown the most atrocious rap you'll ever find mm -hmm. through email through facebook through someone holding the speaker of an iphone up to my ear outside of the bar just through people just things. rapping in my face while i'm smoking a cigarette so i pretty much my bar for so someone low. submitting rap of any sort even when people show me rap sometimes i'm like this is fucking terrible just like songs that they like so my bar is pretty low so this definitely exceeded my expectations mm -hmm. Like I said, they only have three songs, so there's not a lot to go off of. Um, the main one I think we both liked was called Riot. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more aggressive. Riot sounded um, it sounded very <laughs> similar to a group that I enjoy called they're they're called Horror, but it's stylized as H O nine nine O nine. If you've ever listened to them at all, it's a very just like a harsh punk sounding hip hop kind of thing. It had a, it had it, I liked the flow of it. Yeah. Um, I liked the sound of it. It was the one I enjoyed most overall. Yeah. Um, I think we like a lot of more aggressive shit, but then they well, had because we're like we're punk and metal kids who grew up, so of exactly. Course we do. And then they had one that had like some singing on the hook. Um, I forgot what that one was called. Smile, smile. Yeah, I took some notes. And then they had another one that was kind of like a little dancey that was called OK. Yeah, so the, it, they have like a uh, just a nice little a, a sampler you could yeah, call it. Yeah, nice just a couple uh, of tracks to check variation, out. Variation um, amongst the tracks. It's not like identical. Um, overall, like I said, better than I was expecting. The one thing that I noticed when I was initially listening to it, um, the song Riot, the second verse, I'm not sure who is who. Now, here's I just want to say a little bit of disclaimer before this next part. Uh, <coughs> when we do this type of thing, if you send us something, we, we don't accuse people of doing anything. We try not to slander anybody, but this is just honest observations that we had while we were listening to the project. So if you guys are listening to the show right now, and um are looking for some honest feedback this is going to be some honest feedback we're going to have about yeah and like music. i said with anything that you want to submit like we definitely love submissions like thank you shout out to angry black men for submitting this yes absolutely it's exciting that we got one and we definitely like love rap and want to talk about it and i think well that's and i mean why... like sincerely they sound promising like i feel like yeah there's just, like, something so... there and yeah. that's another reason why i want to be honest with people because yeah. if there is something like catch it now like you only have three songs out I seen them posting on like ear milk and stuff, so it's you know in the works. So definitely right. want to catch out anything. And the only thing that I saw or heard, I suppose, 
Because in Riot, the second verse has a like very, very, very similar cadence and lines to East Side by Trinidad James featuring Childish Gambino, Gucci Mane, Young Scooter, a bunch of people are on it. But in the Childish Gambino verse, towards like halfway through his verse, is like the exact same like flow and cadence and yeah. like words. And I don't know if it's like a it's so hard to tell when you find things like that in rap, like between like paying homage and like Shit, right. you know bigging up like a bar or a verse that you like or well and that's something i want to say about these guys is that like if this is like an homage you're trying to do like let let us know that you know yeah. we don't want to be sitting here saying like these guys are like biting flows and biting yeah. lines and stuff like that like we're not trying to talk trash on anybody this no. is just an observation so if this wasn't your guy's intention yeah you know obviously it's just something where it was just a crazy coincidence you know yeah i heard the line um go like a motherfucking capricorn and i just remembered that because i love that childish gambino song mm-hmm. and i'm a fucking rap nerd and listen to too much shit so instantly struck me and like i said that could just be yeah like big enough a line that you like i don't know how to call it yeah but that was the one thing that i noticed um otherwise yeah the song in general i was a fan of i liked it um the second one there was also a line in what was it, smile yeah that was similar to a kanye line the hello hello white america assassinate my character is mm-hmm. what kanye says and there's a line that was very similar to that, too. So it was just another, I think, and after like noticing thing, the it, first one. Is it like an homage or is this yeah. like your guys' thing? That one felt more, yeah, like a, like an homage. Well, because I remember there was a, a, a female rapper that I listened to for a while, and her name was Mary Magdalene. Mm-hmm. And she had put out a project specifically of taking, like, pop songs that yeah. were on the radio but then twisting the beat but then like using the chorus but, <laughs> but it was also a free project she put out because she knew yeah. she was like biting stuff you know and that's like that's a huge thing in rap like atmosphere is one of my favorite groups of all time mm-hmm. and slug constantly and it was honestly because they were one of the groups i got into before a ton of other rap is that i didn't realize he was like pain um, like there's so much there's so many lines that he like tweaks and then i'll hear it's like a big daddy cane line or like right. a rock him line or ice tea or ice cube or whatever and like i don't know that without the context mm-hmm. and then even once i do because i'm not i'm not sitting around listening to big daddy cane or epmd or any of the stuff he right. grew up on so i never knew that and then once i figured it out it's like oh yeah it's like a fun little nod like this is you know a line i liked and i tweaked it a little bit which is cool, but yet I think forever I've always had a problem with that because it's it's hard to call it. Like, are you – you know what I mean? Like, is, Especially because you... the, the Childish Gambino feature is like a weird song. Yeah, I, like, I think it stood out like... to me because I don't know anyone else that's ever played that song around me. Right. I love that song. And I don't but think like, anyone ever paid attention ever to that like Trinidad a bar or like a DJ set. And yeah, because like it's off. Know? Yeah, it's off a Trinidad James mixtape that I don't think a ton of people even paid attention to. Right. To yeah. begin with, it's a fire song. Because when do you get to see Gucci and Childish Gambino and Trinidad James and Young Scooter and I know there's someone else on it. It's fucking ridiculous posse cut. Um, but yeah, there's those were the two main things I seen was just like confusion with that. Otherwise, like I said, the songs are like different mm-hmm. between the three which is good to see when you only have because i listen to a ton of these fucking kids that have like a handful of songs and they sound exactly the same and mm-hmm. i forget what song is even what song so there's some nice variation i think there's some ideas the other okay song it has like the the like from annie are you okay that obviously but that has been, yeah that's that's an and homage that, that's so what i mean that one is done, like you know? okay I see exactly what that is. And even in the riot, they have like the drowning pool. Let yeah, the bodies hit so the floor. So it's like in almost so I see every like, song, there's like a thing there. You yeah, know? It, yeah, it does seem like everything takes something from something else. But those ones, at least, it's like, well, that's super clear. Like, right, that's what yeah. that's for. The other ones, I am i can't call it. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, I could definitely see something. It's got to be more music coming. Like they yeah. said, they're working on a project. So I mean, we def- we'll definitely have to keep our eyes on them, see what they do. Yeah, you definitely. Know? Um, but yeah, again, thanks for sending it in. Uh, I enjoyed <coughs> checking anything out. Uh, like I said, it's better than I was anticipating. I'm yeah. glad I didn't have to sit here and be like, well, the first one we got fucking sucks and mm-hmm. is horrible. <coughs> and again, if you want to send things in, that might have seemed like we're going to tear it apart. But I think, I think we're just going to keep it 
I don't I, miss, like, honestly, we weren't tearing it. I don't think we were tearing it apart. At all we were just being honest with our observation. Like, like I said, I didn't hate yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't I, think honestly, there's really I anything really to liked it. tear apart. I just, yeah, like I said, it's one of those weird gray areas. Because with with rap, there's a ton of things that don't happen in other genres. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that like borrowing lines, whether you're for whatever well, reason, I mean, doesn't I really. I wouldn't see that as necessarily true because I was there was a period in time where I was really into like um like blues music and rock and roll culture and stuff like that. And one of the things constantly back in the day is you would have an artist who would have one or two good songs that they actually wrote, and then the rest of the songs to fill up that vinyl record. Oh were yeah, all covers well yeah, of that other artists they were filler and stuff. But that's so. still different because that's like a full blown cover, and obviously, right? You know what I mean? Rap has so much gray area, even with like, like samples to, to me, and stuff. To me, like it's just that, that evolved. Like it's just the evolved yeah, version of that. I agree with that, but it it's still like completely different, and there's just so much because I think rap is just made up of so many different things. Right. I don't know, but yeah, I'm a rap nerd, so as as as, <laughs> as we should be. <coughs> but yeah, if you want to send shit, anything, if you know someone who makes something, I definitely like reviewing things. I like to listen to new things. I yeah. like to check shit out Always. in any form. Obviously, rap is our. Our real genre. Uh, cup of tea. But, uh, yes. Yeah, Pull up in the work today playing that Waka Flocka song off the playlist. Karma? At, yeah, at eight in the morning. <sighs> All that crazy shit I did. Flocka, 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 God. Flocka, Flocka, Flocka. That song is so fucking. That's the only way to start your day, I've realized now, that if you're trying to, like, wake up and have a good day, wake up and play Karma. I don't know. There's a, I feel like there's a lot of songs. One thing that I didn't mention on the podcast or probably even in real life, but when we were in Madison and we were going from downtown to the set to see the cool kids mm-hmm. and you were in control of the music i was i was really like wiped out because my knee was broken but you know what you did played karma no you played finito oh of course I and i was finito. like let's fucking go well, at that if point you're ever time, worried about me like tapping out early or play, even play I, guess, finito. I guess even if i'm like shot in the neck lying dead in the street and they're like i don't think he's gonna make it i want to see you like oh i bet he will Gang, 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 and I just like get up more. Gang, it's causing gang. more blood, and they're like, "Sir, lay, stay on the ground." No, not today. Someone's like, I'm "Turn go and fucking go." Someone's like, "Turn Benito <laughs> off. That is inappropriate at this turn time." Turn it off, Your and I flatline. They're dying. like, "Okay, turn it back up, but like maybe it's a little quieter." And then, Mm-mm. no, it's got to be at a hundred percent. Cheese in my pocket, Belvita. I told someone about that song in a bar one time because I was like, "Cheese." <laughs> that song is like makes it's, me it's so tier. hype. Yeah. Um. I told someone in the bar one time, and then later they were like, what was that song you were, like, really hy- hyping up? And I was like, Finito by Chief Keef. And then uh, they looked it up, and they texted me four minutes later, and they were like, I want three minutes and 29 seconds of my life back. And I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Uh, for real? And they go, cheese in my pocket, Velveeta, you have to be fucking kidding me. Really? And then I threw my phone in a lake because I didn't want to be associated with someone who thought that such disgusting things. I don't associate with people who think be- poorly of Young Thug, and I absolutely don't oh, associate with people who I heard don't young like Young Thug slander today, and I was like, "Doesn't it hurt you personally when you hear someone say I? Someone at work, some kid. I'm going to throw this out there: a kid some at my toddler, work, <laughs> essentially, some toddler that's going to catch a fade from me. They, they might as well be because I literally said, if you're not listening to Young Thug, then you're fucking up. And they said, "What's Young Thug?" And I got very you should have said sex yeah i should have said, oh i mean sex i'm very sorry <laughs> and then their mother's not comes putting over. out any music this week this week because <laughs> who knows next week he'll be like back on track four albums <laughs> can you imagine high tunes coming soon oh, easy breezy Spelt beautiful all stupid high tunes coming out with um turbo graphic 16 are we just gonna list albums that are definitely never coming out? Astro World, <sighs> Turbo Graphic sixteen when? <laughs> Soon. Jenny Death when? Ski Mask, fucking mix. But where the Book of Eli when? He just—they're always constantly like so soon. That's what Thug used to do. He'd always be like, "It's so, coming so soon. soon," and then like a year later, it's in the like, mastering oh. process, and then we finally got like digits a year later. Yeah fucking hate that just don't tell me like i don't want to know drop it on me or surprise like, me childish game be no chance the rapper collab mixtape coming when and they're then they'll be like 
oh yeah we're totally working on that and then a year later they'll be like no we didn't even do that and i don't think it's gonna work and then i'm like okay and then they're like back in the studio and i'm like stop fucking with my emotions i want chance to drop that one he did with future that he did like yeah, the snippet why of. do you fucking well i mean how time. long ago did that snippet from rockstar come out that post malone did no, I don't and then know. that song like finally that song. came out like forever later yeah i get things take time i understand but like that's what i told you like if i Heaven is me finally being able to listen to all the unreleased music by all my favorite artists. Jesus too, coming in hot. Kanye and Young Thug have forty songs together. You mean Just Kanye and sex? That. Yeah, Kanye had sex and it made forty songs. <laughs> he made oh, forty babies. You could have a song for each day and night of the flood, because you know you love your fucking Bible so much. I, I am thumping a Bible. What is that even? Is it because I Bible thumping? Oh, is thumping. Like when you take it, you like smack it on the. You're like this smack is it on a f- bitch's fat ass. That's the only thing I do with a Bible. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait for our. Church. I mean, Dad and do coke off of it. Mm. All that crazy shit I do. <laughs> yeah, do yeah, do coke off your Bible to karma, kids. That's the best way to live your life. Yeah, that's what our church is going to be. Oh God, get at us so if lit. you would attend our church. Yeah, if you I would feel attend like one day. One day, at we least could like do one, like service. one, yeah, one service, and just one be... service. That sh- the church do it on a Sunday morning. Have like donuts and coffee and everything. Yeah, donuts and coffee. <laughs> I grew up in a small Midwestern town. We're gonna do church the way I did it. Mm. I was thinking uh, hot dogs and Jameson. Okay, that also worked. I like that. Better. But you have to dunk the hot dogs in the Jameson. Can you imagine the eating buns a hot like do- when you a hot dog bun soaked in Jameson like a hot dog eating contest? <sighs> no. That's the guy How in the hot dog eating me? contest. You got to fucking watch out for the guy dunking <laughs> the his buns. The real wild fucking card. J- yeah, the real. Could you, that's something. <laughs> Kurd, I know you're listening to this right now. If you eat a hot he dog dunked in Jameson. He said he stopped. He hates the show. Yeah, man. I bet he it fucking It got too does. relatable because he was with us for too long. He's like, yeah, man, it's just weird. I can't, ah, I can't yeah, disassociate from it. I for all the things. Kurd, uh, if you eat a hot dog dunked in Jameson, let us know. And it's maybe something we could arrange at the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> All that crazy shit. Out <laughs> <laughs> well, when you watch the fucking videos of the people just hot dog eating contests, it, in it general, looks for insane. Fucking monster! It's it's they're ungodly. like double fit, and like you want to eat a wet bun for like a That's ribbon or saying. a belt. Like, it's got to be a to belt, that, right? Just to get so full that you're sick and then be like, I fucking did it. Like I, I don't understand. W- you know, I always win. Well, you're just double fit. Yeah, you know, I always win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the hot dogs. I can like I could. I could polish off a couple hot. Wish I wouldn't have said that like I that. I wish you wouldn't have. <laughs> Polishing but, uh, up a couple of <laughs> gobble. I'm gonna gobble a hot dog or two. Gobble up a couple of Oscar Myers there. <laughs> I'm the hot dog cobbler. Cobbler. I can fuck hot dog cobbler. Does that mean you make shoes out of hot dogs? Or you make Get hot dog cobblers? Oh fuck! Hot dog cobbler what eating would contest. Hot... <laughs> but it's under it's under the ruse of a regular cobbler, and then people start shoving it in their mouth. It's hot dogs. It's, hot it's dog. just hot dogs on the bottom and buns. On There's our church. Oh yeah, hot dog cobbler eating contest. Where do you the go hot to, dog cobbler? Where do you go to church? <gasps> My church does things a little bit different. Every year we have montage. the dapper dads. We have the dapper dads 80s, annual 80s hot music theme d- montage of us making. A hot dog cowboy, dish, 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 and then it just dish, gets to the point of people eating it, and everyone's like, "What the fuck? What the Jesus Who's Christ! Is that, has, is that hot dogs in there? I'm gonna beat the shit out of that tall we're, one. We're just, like, <laughs> we just got money sticking out of our coat sleeves. We're like, Ooh. listen, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We were told that the hot dog cobbler got what I was, was gonna be a big lit event. <laughs> what I was gonna say is, I could eat a bunch of hot dogs relatively quickly. The, the bun. Is where this cr- the big wet bun is where I have problems. I love a big wet bun. Who doesn't? I love creating a big wet yes, bun. Yes, I love I love being in control of the wetness of the buns that are being created, and I won't eat them. Can we can we call this episode the hot dog cobbler gobbler? Probably that would be uh, great. It's gonna be a hard. It's gonna be a good graphic. No, there's a difference. I'm thinking like good I'm thinking difficult. like Hamburglar with like the bandit mask, but like with a clearly a casserole dish. If you shot. The hamburg, no, the see, because that's ham- like, <laughs> then I shot that hamburger. Yeah, in no, cold blood. The hamburger steals hamburgers. Grimace is Reynolds. Autistic <laughs> friend. <laughs> I finally got it out. It took like twelve episodes, but it finally. Came out. You look great because you finally got it out. I can't believe you finally got it out. 
<laughs> it took so long. But what I was trying to ask originally, I'm glad we got back on being off track. It got too serious for a minute. Whip that shit, bitch. If you shot, if you shot, the, <laughs> the, yeah, we get not it. the Hamburglar. But, but, I respect Ronald McDonald's re- autistic friend Grimace. No, I love Grimace. There's a picture of Grimace that I'm gonna put shooting somewhere. the Hamburglar. No. They're two separate things. Real quick, when I'm depressed, I look at a picture of someone dressed up as Grimace eating a child. Makes me very happy. Two, if you took a shotgun and you shot Mayor McCheese in the head, how would that head explode? Like, pretty crazy? Or, like, it's a big head. Have you seen his head compared to his body? It's big. Shocking that he's able to function. Huge cheeseburger. Just cheeseburger meat everywhere. That's what I'm picking. Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like that his Which brain. kind of nice. Because does he have an actual brain in there, or no, is it just cheeseburger meat? <laughs> like, does he have eyes and bones and like teeth? Oh and my stuff? god! Someone do a do a drawing of, of hey, Mayor McCheese's this internal skeleton out. and nervous system. I need to know how it works. It's like how the dog would wear pants. Mayor McCheese with his brains blown out at the same. That's place. what they beep out <laughs> at the same. Seen up, seen a Mayor seen, McCheese. Seen with Mayor his McCheese. Blown seen up. See at the Mayor same Mc burger Cheese stand where Grimace hang out. out. Now this is not a tape recorder saying Grimace did it, but ever since that day, I was looking at him different. This was back when he's I was looking at not... you different too, because he's just like, did Grimace ever talk? Yeah, he had like a big dumb voice. Like, did you oh, ever? I am sure he did. Like, did you ever watch the McDonald's like cartoon VHSs that they? Yeah, had? we've been into this. Remember, yeah. come and McNuggets. Oh yeah, how could yeah. I forget? That was when I was trying to get out my autistic grimace joke. Yeah, I but remember. I physically that, couldn't do I it. I know, but now it's you finally good. lost enough shame to get it out. I know it's not even shame; it's just so goddamn funny. I'm just picturing now. I'm picturing Grimace accidentally letting the safety go off of his gun while he's coming down the barrel, and he shoots Mayor McCheese in the head. Oh my god, it's scum! Jacking circle. off with those weird purple McNugget hands, and he's just. But like, I bet they're mm-hmm. soft because mm-hmm. you think he's coated in fur. No, I think he's, he's like slick. <laughs> if he's slick, he's a monster. Is that the only two options? Kill. He's slick. Why can't he have like rough skin, like a reptile? I don't want to get down that road. <laughs> I don't want to either. Because yeah. he's so he's so smooth. You know what I mean? What consistency do you think Grimace has? <laughs> Soft. Like <hairy>. what? <laughs> like he's full of jello. Like I feel like Grimace looks like he's like one of those like models you feel that's covered in like velveteen. Like I feel like he's made out of velveteen. Like he's not like cushy. He's like solid yeah he's solid but soft i think he's got a little give to him well clearly there's some give because he eats a I lot think of McDonald's. he's covered in fur a light fur how long like very short very fur? short fur like yes. like a short hair cat kind of like yeah but real where soft. he's like sleek like is the free like can you pet him yeah of course you, you could pet him no if matter you could pet way. a real life grimace that was like a wild animal at a zoo would you do it yeah can you imagine money. seeing a pack of those things running Grim- around? Just- <laughs> is it grimaces or is it like grimaces? How what do we is, say it? Fact check. What is a multiple grimaces? <laughs> yeah, because that doesn't sound right. No, grimaces, grimaces? doesn't. Grim- Grimace? Grim- <laughs> Sounds like an enemy you fight in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. if you The wild grimnai come out of the woods you, and you punch agi- you in the dick. If you agitate a grimace, I bet it would fuck you up. If Like a wild look- grimace? I mean, yeah, if it's possible. Could you imagine hunting a wild grimace? I have one of those big, long hats on. You look like a wild Thornberry's character. I'm thinking which is more one like of the worst cartoons that's ever existed. Hands down. Thank I'm you. Thinking, I'm thinking more like 1920 British safari explorer guy with like the big, okay. like the bucket hat, the big mustache, the gold chain. The like clearly went to a Danish haberdashery before he came out to hunt yeah. in Africa. We've got the guns that you have to load slowly and push the thing. Yeah, into. exactly. What else are you hunting a grim eye with? Oh, I don't know. Is it Grimace if it's singular, or is it Grimace as a? Because they call him Grimace. Yeah, I think I think it's a. So if it's a group, what what constitute a group of Grimini? That doesn't sound right either. (laughs) Group of Grimini. A (laughs) Grimini. That's definitely not. Grimini sounds like multiple. Yeah, that's multiple, but that's not what we're gonna use. What are we gonna use? Grimini. Grimini. Multiple wild Grimini. No, that sounds like you're. Casting if anyone's a spell. still listening to this show, they have probably lost their mind trying At to understand point, what's going on. I think we, I think we held them in by bringing the tone down briefly. But then we started we talking back. about hot dog eating contests and wild grim and I. That's true. There's been a lot to unpack in this one, but what it comes down to is, I wanted to buy a grimace costume just to have on deck. Uh, I think we should still do it. They were more than I was anticipating. How much? I want to say in the three hundreds, <laughs> for like a good, like a movie, like quality an adult, one. like an adult, <laughs> the mask was movie quality, theater, <laughs> m- 
charging you 600 bucks for those Halloween masks that make the mouth move, but you can get oh, a full adult grimace. size Grimace for I got to show you this picture of Grimace. I, I, got, I got it on the brain. Okay. And it makes me happy. That's fine. If I'm sad, I look at this picture of Grimace. Can we pop it in the child. video really quick? Yeah, I'm going to put it on all Good. the social media Good. if I remember, which I never do. No. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, none of the pictures are ever None of the shit anything. goes up. Um, but yeah, I want to get a Grimace costume, and I'm assuming... And with it. Yes. You can't spoil things, so I'm going to bleep that out, and it's going to make a real exotic. Oh, because we're actually... People will never know. we're going to do it. Yeah. But yeah, just a Grimace costume, and I bet a high-quality Grimace costume is what I'm picturing him to be like, and I bet it's light. It's it's a light fur. What's going to happen when I'm, like, tripping balls and you come to my come. That's when I'm saving it. In a wild Grim, Grim and you're I gonna costume? You're going to open. It's going to be nice. Though. I'm going to shoot me you with a powder musket. Me, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Those things just injure you anyway. That's what why the all the wars took so long. What the devil? And then I just shoot you with a powder ball. Let me paint a picture for you. It's going to be a real nice summer night. You're going to be in your boxer briefs like I've recently seen. <laughs> yeah, that was regrettable. It's going to be a little bit warm, but you want some fresh air. You're going to go to your back patio, open up the curtain, and I will be standing there in that fucking grimace. Costume. You're going to catch a fade, and I'm going to hurt you. You're going to have to open the door, and I'll be gone into the night. And by into the night, I mean I'll trip immediately, because it's got to be fucking crazy hard to see in that thing, I can't right? imagine you being very tactical in a grimace costume. No. I have a full bunny costume that I bought from our previous employer where we worked together. I remember They this. had an Easter bunny costume, and they were like, we're getting rid of it. It's $10. I bought both of them. For someone else who I used to think was you, and then I snapped you one day around last <laughs> Easter, and you were like, yeah, that wasn't me. No. So I don't know who I bought that other one for, but it is like a full-fledged... Do you think we could use them for something? I only have one now. I gave. I told someone mm. that it was for sale, and they were like, buy the other one for me. So I had to go into the office and buy two adult-sized Easter sure he bunny costumes. Of course. <laughs> And it's like very, it's like high quality Easter. I mean, we could use them for something. That's I put it I'm on saying. occasionally. That's what I'm it's thinking. very hot. Occasionally? Yeah. I thought I would do more with it, but like, mm. really, what do you do? Yeah. Except be an Easter bunny. Yeah. Could we do an Easter photo shoot with it? I mean, I have an Easter bunny costume, so. We have no reason not to. Easter is April 1st? Yeah. We got to get cracking. Unless that's a huge joke. No. <laughs> <laughs>